when I say about MCH, it would be the community itself, whether it's the teachers or students. There is not really a difference between the category itself. It's a strong community who work together and who identify each other's individuality. And uh, it's a place that has seen me grow. So it's a symbol of growth for me and a symbol of progress. Uh, and MCH is a happy place. Uh, I'm Meghna Ardas. I'm from Kerala. Uh, I'm, I'm pursuing my second year master's in MCH. I ended up choosing MCH because of the multidisciplinary nature in the course. Uh, in fact, I often hear my friends saying that they chose humanities because they hated science, but that was not my case. Uh, in fact, I took biomath in my plus one plus two. I was also an integrated student for NEET coaching and I was pursuing that branch in study. Uh, but it did not end up working. Uh, the competitive exam was too much stressful for me. And during that period of time, I understood that I had a great passion for English. And it's during the language period that I could be myself in the fullest way. And I always had a keen interest in speaking, writing, in poetry. So I had a sh shift in my stream after my plus two, and I ended up choosing humanities. I did my schooling as well as my undergrad in Kerala itself. And while coming to the application for masters, I was searching for colleges and I ended up uh, knowing about MCH through a common friend. And MCH has a great course offering. As I mentioned earlier, the course is really interdisciplinary. We, uh, uh, we go across subjects like sociology, history, English, and not even just in humanities, but also in science subjects. Uh, for example, uh, last time we had a course called Medical Humanities. So Medical Humanities is a course that bridges between the two, two streams of medicine and humanities and how these streams can complement to each other for the betterment and for the sophisticated learning. And I really enjoyed the course because uh, it could uh, bring back the memories and I could go back to the science field because I still enjoy science as much as I enjoy humanities. And uh, we explored the different parts of medicine and uh, for the often for our term papers we are supposed to do field works and I ended up choosing my term paper for medical humanities uh, to do it on palliative care. And I could do an intensive field work on palliative care where I went into Kerala, visited multiple palliative cares, interviewed the staffs, the doctors, the nurses. So. Uh, uh, that was a great opportunity. Here MCH really focused on Indian literature and translatory literature. So I had a wider variety of learning into to Indian literature, whether it's works from Tamil or Punjabi or Gujarati that has been translated to English, as well as Indian history, which we often don't explore. There were so many Indian writers and history that we were not aware of, uh, as well as sociology. So for in our first year in MCH, what we do is we have, we do all the uh, minors. So even though I have taken up MA English, I do uh, my first year I do study sociology English and history and in my second year I do whatever ma major that I have taken that is my English so I could uh, in, uh, study sociology as well and sociology has a unique course to offer in MCH so and all this go for oh, like kind of complements to the your major so whatever I write is uh, from an English student perspective. So it can complement to my understanding as an English literature student. As well as, as I earlier mentioned, Medical Humanities is one other course that I really enjoyed because uh, it really talks about life and death and mental health. Choosing Humanities, uh, there has been this uh, hierarchization of science and humanities where science predominates, but uh, that's a misconception. It's uh, each discipline has to contribute in its own way and uh, a crucial role to play in society. And as a humanities student, we can contribute in a really crucial way to society to uh, to create change, to influence the population, to influence the public, and for the betterment of the nation itself. So there are wider opportunities in career field. Specifically to MCH, I would say, um, back in Kerala where I uh, did my UG, and in many colleges where they still follow the old curriculum, MCH has really uh, updated curriculum system. We have a great set of faculties uh, in MCH, highly qualified people who have done uh, their education in, in the best universities in India, who have worked in the best university in India as well as in, uh, abroad. Uh, the faculties are really uh, friendly and student friendly and the class inside the class the classes are not really a monotonous one person speaking kind of mode rather the classes are 
group discussion mode. Often the teachers engage us to sit in a circle rather than to sit in horizontal seats where the where the discussions are in a circle. And MCH, uh, the classes are much more lesser in number, so there is much more attention to the individual student. I'm really glad to be uh, part of this institute and to be able to uh, get education from them. And they, ha they have really good contacts. And these are the people who actively are still writing and submitting research papers. And they are not sitting ideal once they have gotten the job. So their passion towards the subject really motivates us also to write and to continually uh, update ourselves in our learning and uh, in the work that we do.